Next, we need to check the connections. If we expand connections, we see that ANSYS automatically created bounded contacts between the face of the crank and our surface bodies. This is exactly what we want. We can see that our crank is the contact body in red and that the strain gauges are the target bodies in blue. And this allows the visualizations of multiple bodies in a very neat way. If you click on body views and then click on sync views, you'll be able to view both bodies with their views synced with each other. It's pretty darn cool. Oh, and actually, you can see that the contact is of type bonded right here. Okay, now say that ANSYS did not automatically create these connections. There are two ways that you can recreate them yourself, by using automatic connections or manual connections. Automatic connections are much faster, so we'll try this one first. To do this, we'll just right-click, Connections, Insert, connection group. We'll now right click connection group and click create automatic connections. As you can see, we're back at the contacts that we had initially. If automatic connections don't work, then you would likely have to create them yourself using manual connections. This process is slightly more time consuming and is shown in the next video if you need it.